I usually go for three, um, which I know is not good, but uh, you can't blame me. <laughs> what a mess. I need to clean this guys. Uh, really bad. I'm really bad on this sometimes. There we go. And voila. English breakfast tea. And and even if you if you are a backend developer, I highly recommend you to learn how to deploy your code because then you can then you're not just a developer that writes code and then you know, just just forgets about it, right? So you actually want to make sure that you, you, you have the knowledge of how things are put together, right? So before, um, I was uh, a backend developer, so, you know, building lots of APIs. Uh, but then I decided that, you know, I needed that experience to, to see how, you know, my code, um, uh, you know, is configured in, in servers uh, so that real users use it, right? So I had, you know, pretty much little uh, knowledge about Amazon and Alhamdulillah um, you know I'm, I'm actually enjoying the work and it's very very interesting uh, lots of things going on you know um, you know technologies are amazing um, and yeah um, you know if you want to become a software engineer um, it's not just about it's not just about um, you know knowing how to write for example backend because I know people they say oh um, I only write backend, right? Uh, other people just, oh, I only write frontend. Uh, but I mean, like, if you want to be, you know, a true software engineer, then you should be aware of all of these things, all of these things. You should be a complete package. You know, you don't have to be uh, a master in everything, right? So you might have your strongest points. You know, you might be, you know, strongest at backend development, but you should know you know how things work for example how you test your code how you you merge to master right using git or gitlab for example and then you know how the pipeline works right to make sure that you have continuous uh, integration right because um you know as as you work in a team in a team uh you know you're always pushing new code right but you have to make sure that whatever you push to master is guaranteed to work right so how do you do that so you have to make sure that you have you know lots of tests around unit tests integration tests then once you merge to master you have either team city uh, a team city job or drone or um, I think GitLab they have their own CI uh, CD um, uh, tools so basically how all of that works so that you you have you know uh, always continuous integration with whatever you merge to master right so how docker works for example docker nowadays is the standard uh, of is the standard of how you take your code from your machine and then package into um, an image and then from that image you can run multiple containers right and the cool thing about docker is that if it works on your machine it's guaranteed to work um, you know whatever you, you deploy right so how docker works um, uh, yeah so then then how you know what is the process of um, you know security how do you secure your application how the front end the back end they communicate to each other uh, you know databases uh, you know SQL um, um, you know transactions making sure that your queries are optimized uh, you know having the right indexes so there is a lot that you have to bear in mind if you want to become a software engineer right so it's a it's a process that takes time I'm not gonna lie it takes time but just learn bit by bit and I'm pretty sure that um, you will you will you will get there and, and the, 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 the thing that I that I recommend you is that don't become overwhelmed Right. Sometimes you might see a lot of stuff that you need to learn and like, oh gosh, this is like so complicated. You know, just just take one bit at a time. Right. Don't just jump into everything um, because that way I'm pretty sure it's going to be really, really tough for you. Um, so. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So as I was saying, basically, I'm, I'm actually 